uh, we're, we're going by the format that the Holy Spirit suggested last week. So we're going to look at a few scriptures. This is the first one. John 1, 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I want us to examine this scripture. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But my question is, can God just not forgive the sin without going through all this? Uh, why does God just say, okay, your sins are forgiven? What do you think? Let me see. Why does he want to come as a lamb who is slain? Um, I have I have one idea or two. Um, one one idea that I have is that be, because we live in time, what we consider process is different from the way God. Um, performs things. I don't know. Uh, um, so in this, in this, in the way that you can dream about ten years in one split second. So, the, what we consider a process is a lot simpler. Even though it, it's it's like you're breaking it down for children. That's one idea. What has that got to do with what we're talking about? So what I'm saying, in effect, is you are asking that why do why does he have to go through the process? Why doesn't he just do this very simple thing and it's over, right? Why doesn't he just say, "I forgive all the sins of the world"? Um, well, didn't you understand what I meant? No, I don't. I didn't even see the relevance to my question. Because the process isn't actually as complicated as you think it is. Because the process simple. isn't what? As complicated as we perceive it, it's very simple. It's so it is like speaking the word. The That's process what. is not simple. How can you say the process is simple? The process he took is far more complicated than the one I'm suggesting. Let there be how light, you, and there was you know light. That? that is a simple process. Let there be light, and there was light. Let sins be gone, and it is gone. No, I don't think it's. I don't know. So, I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to intellectualize it here. But what I'm saying is, let somebody saying let there be light, and there was light, is a summary for you. But there is a whole lot more that is involved in that process than you can see. How is the light created? What, what can so, what you know? What what is this that is involved in the process? Um. It, well, you can imagine it anyhow you want. I just don't think it's relevant. I'm no, saying I mean that. because because we have, we have seen him do other things like that, and there is no stop process in it. Rise up, take up your bed and walk. It doesn't it doesn't doesn't involve anything. The guy person rises up, takes up his bed and walks. I don't think it's that Lazarus, simple. Lazarus come forth and he comes no. out of the grave. Okay, well let me there is no no process to it. There is a process. It so speaks me... the word and it is done. Yes, but what happens when it is being done? Is it reconstructive surgery? That's what happens when it is what? When it is done. Is it reconstructive surgery that's happening very quickly? 
that's happening out of view. Is it, you know, Lazarus comfort? What what more was there? Lazarus came out of the grave. Yeah, so his spirit entered his body. No, his spirit entered his body. Then, and sometimes when the filmmakers make it, you can see a lot happening that is not as fast as you're saying it. So I'm saying that the process of the, the, the time, time that we live in slows down process, but it is the same when there's no time. Second suggestion is well, okay. that, but, but your, your first suggestion doesn't make any sense to me. My own understanding of God <laughs> is that he speaks and it comes to pass. There is no process to it. Of course there's uh, process. He, what he, about he, that? He, he, he commands <laughs> and it, it, it comes to pass. What about that guy who um can't see? So he, he first of all, he does this thing with him then the guy is not really seeing well. He's seeing inside another dimension. Then he takes him somewhere. Yeah, but and that's the him... reason. That is the way he wanted to do that at that particular time. Not yeah, that so why you, he did uh... it, it was incomplete. No, 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 no. Okay? No, hold on. That is... Why are you... that he did it and it was incomplete. I know. But what I'm saying is that why is, why is that explanation of that process different from the the saying of it. If the only difference is that because, you can because see... the other one did not it was not a two two stage process, and the one that I'm bringing hypothetically does not involve two stages. Let there be How light. You know there that? are no two stage. There are no two stages in it. Let there be light. I mean, how do I know that? I read it. Let there be light. There are no two stages, and let there be light. What I'm saying is, let there be light, and there happens. was light. Huh? There's some. There's something that happens after speech that you don't you're not necessarily brought into that's what i'm saying what, what is it what is it that could have happened like what okay i don't know uh um nothing happened he said let there be light and there was light that's what makes god god he gives a command and it is done i know that it is done but there is a process always there that's no my process to, what is the process to it there's no process unless he wants to put a process to it. And if he wants to put a process to it, uh, he will might give it in stages. The command might be in stages. But when it I is not in stages, so. there is no process. There is a Lazarus process come forth, everything. there is no process. There Lazarus must be. came out. No yeah, process. But... Okay? Loose him and let him go. No, pro no process. No, the but you are came the out in great clothes. What was the process? If somebody says Lazarus come forth, his yes. his spirit must enter his body. He must get up from the ground. He must walk out. That's already a process. So whether that process is simplified for your for your understanding or not, it exists. So that's my so that's what I'm saying. That hold, hold on, you're not hold always brought into it. But there is there is no process in it. Lazarus come forth is complete. The rest is for Lazarus to do. It has nothing to do with God again. Huh? rise up, take up your bed and walk is a complete process. Now the rising of the taking of the bed and walking is that is the responsibility of the man. But no, it isn't. when he we, issued the command, own, it is finished. It own, is done. You always say that we are not really doing anything. And in a sense, I agree with that. So We are not the, really the, doing anything. He always requires us to God do is, something. That, <laughs> that God is the one who is who, who, he always who, requires us to do something. Anyway, can I move on to the second one? Because we're just okay, going to keep move on to the second one. <laughs> the, the second one yeah. is that sometimes process itself is for the simplicity of children. So if the if process is what? <clears throat> process is for the is is like for the comfort of the mind of the of children. So for example, if somebody dies and you have a funeral for that person. The, the process of the funeral is to help that the, the the sort of like people process the loss. So the sort of slowing down and and make and helping us to see the 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 lamb, see the recognition, see all of those things. Those are those those experiences are really for us nope. as children of God. Nope, anyway, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> it's all about God, not about us. 
Okay, mm -hmm. well, I've 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 sprung my two ideas so, now, okay, and I'm so, going to so go let, with. Let, let me respond. Let me respond to the to even your second one. It has nothing to do with us. Now, that there is the reason why he goes through that process, what you call the process of having to come to earth through the you know and having to die on the cross and all that is about him. And that is really what my question is driving at. What is it that is revealed about him? Now, it tells us something about God and holiness. It tells us something about God in his relation to sin that sin is totally antithetical to God. So to that extent, he is not just going to say, let there be no sin. Huh? If he says, let there be no sin, it will be contrary to his character because God just cannot compromise with sin. He just can't tolerate sin. Sin is just the complete opposite to what God is. He is holy. And so he just, you know, I mean, he has to deal with sin. And he has to deal with sin in a way that conforms to his nature, which is that, one, he's got to punish sin. Somebody must be punished for sin. There must be a penalty for sin. Okay? And he, you know, given the, the, the nature of God, he has determined that the wages of sin is death because he, can, he just cannot Compromise sin. Somebody has to die for the sin. Okay? So it is not going to be like, let there be light. No. Let there be no sin. No. Okay? Uh, Mr. Adelike. Yes, sir. When... Uh... When Yemisi was talking, when the conversation was going on, to, to be frank, when I look at the uh, present, Yemisi's presentation, I can I can also see that there is a, there's also a certain important uh, point that she made. You know, we may not really look at it from the point uh, the, the point at which you ask the question, what you are really getting at in your question, but but what she was trying to say. There's a lot of uh, make a lot of sense to me. Okay, like, like when you said, you said, let there be light. You know, in as much as we know that God speaks, when He speaks, He speaks the hand into existence. And when He speaks the hand into existence, you know, it will come to pass. But we also also need to say, to also know that even though He speaks to the, uh, to the hand, you know, there is a process to that ending. Before we get to our ending, there is a process. Okay, when it says uh, in, uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, when we read it, the way they wrote it in the Bible, the first the first uh, sentence they wrote, there's a full stop. And when, they, when we look at this full stop, before it continues, we know that, in that when that full stop came, that, in, the, before the second sentence, uh, statement came in, it, it, may, it might be that, it might be thousands of years, some too many things will have come, you know, happen, 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 happen before... He now showed up and said, "Let there be light." You, you, you understand? So, so when when he was explaining, I, I was looking at it from that point that she might be right from what she was trying to say, but it might be not really answer but, your question. But, 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 but let me tell you why it cannot be what you guys are saying. It's impossible. If it is what you guys are saying, it is not God. Huh? God is not a manufacturer. He's going to bring hydrogen, then put it to oxygen and put it together. And then, no, that's not God. 
He simply speaks and it comes to pass. Huh? He speaks the look, look let, let me tell you something. Do you know how many can you imagine how many fishes are in the ocean? So you think that he's going to go through a process of creating each fish one by one. So he will create the tinapa, then he will create the obokum, then he will create the you guys must be you must be joking. You guys, you have you have lost it with God. Huh? He simply speaks and it comes to pass. He simply speaks. He declares. And the scriptures tell us that every, every step of the way is in the scriptures. He speaks and things come to pass. Huh? He speaks, they come to pass. Now, if he puts it within man, he can put certain procedures in man. Okay? The processes might be in man. They are not in God. The process might be in man. You know, I mean, the, the baby the, the, uh, it takes nine months, etc. There are all kinds of protocols and procedures that have to do with man, not with God. They cannot be with God. If it's with God, he's not God. Huh? If it's with God, he's not God. So let me put it personally. Okay? Let me put it personally. Hmm? I have demonstrated it myself. No pro no, no procedure. Huh? No procedure. You lay hands on somebody. They are healed immediately. There is no protocol. There is no process. It happens immediately. There is no process to it. Huh? No process to it. Yes, let me see. Um... Time does not rule out procedure. So no, it, in essence, something happens immediately does not mean that there is no procedure. And if God is a creative God, and you can see it around, he is creative. If he speaks... So when, when, he, when he is the process, he, I lay hands he, on somebody and the person is here. When is the, when, yeah. when, 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 when is the process? Which time are you going to create again? That's what I'm saying. That it happened in, in the in the in a split second. Right? I think that in I think that indicates who we really are. We are creatures outside time. We live outside time. So time is this thing that we came live within time. Of, it's mm -mm. I'm saying that we were created to live outside time. This this phase is we were created to live outside of, time. Yeah. So that's what happened. You die and you continue into what we consider to be eternity. There's no time there. So the the this idea that there is some kind of the procedure, and I like the idea of a procedure because I'm a creative person. So if I put a pencil on paper, I see that all of that is part of the beauty. Yeah, humanizing uh, so, God. <clears throat> so if he speaks, there is a process, his words come and they create. And creation is not immediate. Otherwise, it is not a creative process. It is whatever is a spark or whatever magic, which it isn't. It, there, is a, there is a beauty to that process that is... That is, you, we are humanizing God. That is, you are talking about man. You are not talking about God. Mm. You are talking about man. Hmm? Always a mistake to equate man with yourself. Don't I also do it. think that I also think that, for example, you lay hands on somebody, right? And that person has no womb. And, and, and then there's a womb that comes into the body of that person. See something creative that has happened. You can't just say, laid hands on her, womb appears. There is a womb that enters into the body of that woman. And I think that the, the language of that recognizes the glory of God more than just saying and short circuiting it, which is what your language is doing. So yeah, we, see, yeah, we recognize God the calls of God. those things that be not as though they were. When he yes, calls the things that are not as though they were, huh? they come into <laughs> existence. No, there's no process. 
Please, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us deal with things scripturally. Yes, you know, they come into the existence. There is no process to it. What time are you going to are you going to affix to it? What is the time that you're going to affix? Somebody lays your head, her hand on your head, and your head it goes. What is the time? What 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 time again are you talking about? Uh, what is the time? You know, Lazarus come forth. What is the time? Lazarus gets up. What is the, what what time? Uh, we're operating within time. Even when we are operating within time, uh, he does things and he's not restricted by time. Unless if he wants to explain certain things to you with it. You understand? Unless if he wants if he wants us to understand certain things about it. Now, the, my, my question is this. Why does Jesus have to die in order for sins, for our sins to go? Hmm? It is not because God cannot say sin disappear and sin would, you know. It is not because God cannot even create man to be sinless. He can't. You know, and he doesn't need any time to do it. The whole point of the scripture is he, he decided in this case that he's going to go through this different route. And that is the fundamental difference in the creation of man. Okay? That everything else uh, is one word. But he did not say, let there be salvation. But he said, let there be light. And there was light. He didn't say, let there be salvation. My question is, why didn't he say, let there be salvation? And he said, let there be light. That's the issue. And you have completely gone outside the frame of the of the of the whole discussion. Why? Why did he take this route whereby the the God himself has to come through the womb of a woman, crawl on the ground, grow up in stature and in favor, wait until 30 years. Preach the gospel for three years, then be killed, and then be killed for the sins of the world and takes away the sin of the world. Uh, why did he take that route when, given the fact that he is God, he could just say, I'm going to create men that cannot sin. Or I'm going to say, your sins are forgiven. Right, and he demonstrated it with one man that 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 was lame. They brought him to him. He said, "Your sins are forgiven you." So it was something that he could do. When he says, "Your sins are forgiven," they are forgiven. He forgave the man his sins right there and there. He didn't go through any of these different routes with him. But when he came to the scene of the world. He goes through what you call the process. God does not go through processes to do things, but he does with salvation. And that is the issue. Why did he take that route with salvation? He doesn't, you know, I mean, if somebody comes to see you, you say, your servant is healed, just go. And the man is healed. And when they when they get there, they will find out what time did he say that? What time was the man healed? The same time. When immediately he said it. The man was healed. Huh? Immediately he said it, it takes place. No, what is the process that is there? They are just you are, you are inserting processes that are not there in scripture. I don't insert things that are not in scripture. 
the scripture does not put any process there. When it, when the scripture puts a process there, yes, uh, he makes clay, spits on it, you know, and tell him, go and wash in the siloa. Now, that is a process. Okay? And of course, uh, we can understand or we can debate and discuss why he did it that way. But most times, he doesn't go through any process. So you can't now abuse a process to it. Please, don't add to scripture. We can't. We can't. Mr. Elijah, good evening. Good evening, sir. <laughs> we are looking at the scriptures. We are, you know, John the Baptist says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Why is it necessary for Jesus to come to be a lamb in order to take away the sin of the world? Why can't he just say, let I command the sins of the world to go? Hmm. Uh, I want to try. I'm not sure whether, that, but I think God is a just God. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. It's a just God. It is the He is the one that created the world, and whatever that is it now in the world, He is responsible for <laughs> for for it. So He's going to take He find a way to take. They seen a way so that we can have it. But more important for me, more importantly for me, I think, uh, because it's a just God, he has to show example for us so that we can uh, be able, we, we can, whatever it is that he has asked us to do, he will be the first to do it first. You know, no, but he, he, he's, he's not going to ask us to do that again because Jesus has done it. You know, I mean, once he's taken away the sin of the world, the sin of the world is removed. So he's not going to ask us to take away any sin of the world again. Yeah, yeah, but he, he yeah. Is so this is he's not asking us to take the sin of the world again, but he's showing us that this thing has price to 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 it is not free even though he's taking the way okay, right, okay, okay. that, that, that was the element i was talking about you know he has to he, he has to make us know what he thinks about sin exactly that there is uh, response he, there is, uh, he, he has to make us understand that sin is totally abhorrent to him if he wasn't, he would not go through all that extent. Yes. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's, you, there are some things that a child does that you have to cane the child. Otherwise, he, he, he will not he will not understand the gravity of he might not understand how you feel about what, what he has done. You want him to understand that this is not acceptable to you at all. Mm. You know, Elijah, I, 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 I had a, a I created a, a parable. I said there was a king that says that anybody that do, does A, B, C, or D will be killed. So the people said, you know, don't mind him. So the, the king has only one son. So they went and conspired to accuse his son of doing the things that he said must not be done. Mm. And so they brought him to the judge there are all these people that give testimonies that yes, this is what he did, so and so, etc. You know, so 
Well, he said, sentence to death. So everybody knew that there is no way that this man is going to kill his son. Hmm. You understand? He said, well, you know, let's see him now. If he's going to kill his only son, he's the one that, you know. And on that day, they tied his son to a stake and shot him to death. When they shot him to death, the king appeared on television and he said, I'm telling you again, anybody who does this, 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 this is going to die. When he said it the second time, after they had shot his son, everybody believed him. They said, this man is crazy. The man is nuts. He killed his own son. <laughs> huh? He killed so no his own son because of this. Huh? So don't think he's joking about this. So this, this one, this, there is something about sin. There is something about this sin that this man just cannot take it. Huh? That is a parable I have. Whether it fits the Jesus equation or not. God needs to make us understand the gravity of sin. You know, and I've been, I've been, I've been doing studies and I'm praying about deliverance. There are so many scriptures whereby, you know, I mean, there are all kinds of sins that we commit that has serious consequences that we don't realize that they have. Hmm. That we don't know that they have. They have their serious consequences. And if we don't repent of them, we are in trouble. There are all kinds of things that are meant for our peace that we are not going to get because of certain sins that we indulge in. And we think that you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's God. You know, I mean, God will understand. You know, you know that there is something unnatural about God. Okay, if you if you will permit my statement, because I don't I don't do diplomacy with God. There is something inhuman about God. He is not a human being, so he does not look at things the way we look at them at all. And we've got to come to understand that that there are certain things that he will not say. I'm going to give you a pass because you are Elijah. Huh? Because you are Elijah and I like you, etc. No. Mm -hmm. He's not going to make an exception of you. He is not. You are going to go through that process because that is what he has said. And so when we come to understand that, huh, we better take righteousness seriously. So there, there are all kinds of things that are being denied us and we don't know that the reason why we are not getting them is because of so-so and so happened. Say, you know, uh, why is there a famine? He said, Saul killed the Gibeonites. God does not do a thing without revealing it to his prophets. Uh, they would not have known that it was because of that. And what needed to be done? So what they had to kill all the children of Saul except one, all the descendants of Saul except one, because Saul broke a covenant that the Gibeonites made with Israel. And that is God and covenants. So we're we're dealing with 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 a very serious matter. That is that is my own, you know. Elijah, I'm still with you. I don't know how you are reacting to what I'm saying. Yeah, I I I have been more enlightened from your explanation, even more than the answer I gave myself. So I I think you have really taken it more further to to explain it better than what I had in mind. What I had in mind was to was just to explain that hey, this man uh, is not is not going to teach theory. I think that's the point I was just trying to make before 
the further explain. It's not someone I mean, you're going it, to it, teach. It, you it, it, it is so, it is, the whole thing is ridiculous. That God, uh, the God that created everything, okay, yes, sir. decided to come to the world. I mean, that's, that. It, it, in fact, it is so, it is so incredible that most people cannot believe it. If, if, if God does not put the belief in you, you can't believe it. That God, exactly. God, huh? who are we talking about? God was inside the belly of a woman. Yeah, there's, like a that. there's a scripture that God is going to, he said, he said, I'm going to do something that has never been done before. He said, a woman shall encompass a man. No, I mean, I've I, 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 I been thinking, thinking, thinking about what does it, a woman shall encompass a man. Now, you know, I, I'm, the, I'm the only way that I can understand it is in this virgin birth construct. Okay? Hmm. That God, I mean, I, I, are we, who are we talking about? God came down and was drinking Gary with us. Come on. With another leg, go and talk to some Muslims. They will just laugh at you. They, 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 they will laugh. Say with God, it was a prophet that came. No, it was God Himself that came down. Now, for 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 God to come down, ah, I'm telling you, the matter must be serious. Let's face it; it must be a serious business. That must be serious on 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 at least two levels, from my own limited understanding. Number one. Okay, the salvation that is before us, presented in different formats, whether you call it eternal life or whatever, huh? it must be so incredible, so fantabulous. I mean, I I, I can't think of any of the, all, all kinds of expressions that I can give it, that the love of God is so determined that we should not miss it. Huh? that he has to come down to ensure that we will inherit that salvation. The salvation must be, you know, I mean, it, it, it must be something else. It must be something else. Two, the love of God, huh? we, 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 we don't understand it. We don't, we don't, we don't understand it. Hmm? Look, I, 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 some some two or three days ago, I spent the whole day looking for for my keys. Looking everywhere, I would sit down, reconstruct, you know, do all kinds of okay. And then, at a certain point, I went and faced God, and I asked the Holy Spirit, "So, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do?" If I ask you to show me this, what do you what what do I, what I what do I need to do for you? Because I know you know where this key is. What is it that you want me to do? Do you want me to cry? Do you want me to scream? Do you want me? What is it that that, that you want me to do to to really impress you? To, to that will that will move you to tell me where this key is because I know that you know where it is and that you can tell me where it is. And the Lord said. Go and look in this room. Go and look in this place. And I went there and it was there. And I said, oh my God, what is the meaning of this? What is going on here? And I told myself, I said, you know, what, what is the meaning of this? What kind of resource is it that, that I have that I'm playing with here? I've got this person here. All he did was to show me where the, the, the key the, the key was not even hidden. It was it was sitting in a from our from our room. Huh? And I said, Hi, which kind of person is this one? Huh? I I I I I, <laughs> I must always remember that I have him in my corner. So I'm saying that. The love of God that was expressed in God coming down. Huh? Uh -uh. God. If I was God, me, I won't come. Come to do what? Come for mosquitoes to bite me. Come for people to slap me. People that I created. No way. Huh? 
Oh wait, tell Tinubu to come and to come and to come and sleep in a Papa Gao for 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 two weeks. He will not come. Huh? He will not come. And then God that created the heavens and the earth will come down to earth so that people will abuse him, could despise him, could, you know, you know what? There must be something so tremendous for him to take that route. There must be something extraordinary. And we must, we must not despise such such kindness, such loving kindness, such faithfulness. We must not despise it. Let's look at another scripture. Uh, I had seven today, but at this rate, we are not even going to get... I don't know how far we are going to get. Numbers 21. For where are you? Let me see you are the, you are the reader. Then they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to go round the land of Edom, and the soul of the people became very discouraged on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and our soul loathes this worthless bread. So the Lord sent serpents, fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and many of the people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole. And it shall be that everyone who is bitten, when he looks at it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole. And so it was. If a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. Okay, there, 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 are, so many, there are so many aspects of this scripture. But I'm going to try and just, just limit it. Oziyoba, Amadiji, good evening. Good evening, Church. How how what do you think of these people? I just want your reaction. God took them out of Egypt. Hmm? Mm. Okay. You know, when they were in Egypt, nine plagues happened. They were in Goshen. Nothing happened to them. Firstborn of the Israelites died. Their own firstborn didn't die. God parted the Red Sea. They walked through. And yet they are still grumbling against God. What is the matter with these people? Please. I want your reaction. What's wrong with them? Why are we like this? Yeah, they're just like us. You know, but they're just why? like why? us. What, 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 what do you make of it? Why are we like that? Why? You know, the only, uh, honestly, I don't really know. This is another jam question, but it, it reminds me of this scripture that, that these people turn turn to me with their lips but their hearts are far away from us from from me they're not their hearts are not circumcised they don't know god for god they know god for bread and fish so yes, anytime but even if you know fish, somebody for bread if, if, even if you know somebody for bread and fish and he has been giving you bread and fish how do you now repair and say the person who did all this for you basically did all these good things to you because he wants to kill you in the wilderness. How did you come to that conclusion? That's what I don't understand now. How can you, you know, reach the conclusion? The same, I have the same experience. I had the, this uh, person I met, you know, he's a, a little bit mentally challenged. So uh, he owns a, he said he can wash cars. So I told him, you know, come to my house every second uh, Saturday of the month and uh, wash my car. And I used to tip him handsomely. And one day I, I forgot to send the right money and the guy started fighting with me. And I was shocked. I'm like, <laughs> you know how much money I'm fighting I give to with you? you that what? That I didn't send the right money. And I'm like, if you want the right money, why don't you just, why don't you just write me, oh, you know, 
a nice, respectful text message and say, oh, you know, you didn't send the right stuff. And I will send it to you. I don't have any problem with that. So uh, that was the end of the relationship you know, with him. So I was wondering, this guy is very stupid, you know. <laughs> I'm willing to help him, you know, by giving him my car to wash every second Friday and paying him way more than, you know, he, he's supposed to get. And this, I don't know. I don't know. It's a jump question. No, no, but this, but, is, jam. this, is, your jam, this is your jump question. You need to answer it. Why is he like that? Doesn't he, you know, I mean, uh, does he, number one, is it that he thinks that you're a fool because <laughs> you are trying to help him? Or uh, doesn't he know that, I mean, you know, like that, now she, there is no money again. He's not getting it's anything. I, didn't have the, I had the money. I was in the middle of the class. So, you know, so, I don't, you know. So wh wh why did he behave that way? I don't know. Maybe he has mental. Maybe it's the mental oh, issue that no, he has. No, you need to know. You need to know because if you don't know, you can't help me. <laughs> and it's the same way these people are behaving to I God. I need to understand you know? because that's how we are. They Why walk are like through. This? They walk through the Dead Sea. The sea parted and water is a pillar here. Water is a pillar yes, here. Yes, and, 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 and the other and the other people and the other people drowned though. All the, the, right the, the 600, you. you know, they drowned. And you are still complaining again against the same person. I don't understand it. And you know, look, yeah. the, the scripture continues. They 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 are they want to lynch Moses. Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> God now sent God now sent serpents to bite them. When he sent serpents to bite them, what did they do? They rushed to Moses. Huh? Are you <laughs> reading with the scripture? They rushed to Moses and please Moses, please beg, beg God for us. I don't understand it. Okay, so if Moses can beg God for you, why were you really? You know, that, 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 there was one story of a of a of a of a, of a king that you made a, a false altar. Okay, and then the prophet came and said, you know, this altar is going to be destroyed, and the, the man wanted to strike the man, and then his his hand withered. Mm -hmm. And then he now told the man that he wanted to strike, please pray to God for me, for my hand to come back to normal. So, you know, <laughs> I, I said, some of these prophets, so me, I don't understand them. I will pray for you for the hand that you want to use to slap me. No, <laughs> I mean, I let the other one wither too. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah, at, what, it is. at what point will they realize that God is God. That's that's what I want to know. At what point, at yeah. what at what juncture we will know that God is for our good, not for our not you know, He has not come to destroy us. Mm. It's a tough, it's a tough question. It's a tough question. It's, it's how how many more Bible study do we need? It's a tough question. I, mean, I don't know. Let me well, I think Sam might, might help us. He has put his hand up. Uh, 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 good evening. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, church. Good evening. <laughs> let, let me begin my answer by telling you of an incident. Remember those days when healing wings used to have um, um, physical midweek meetings on Mondays and Thursdays. There was one of those evenings, I think it was myself and Christine, we were driving to the church was quite a while ago and we got caught in traffic at um by the traffic lights all along Ozumba and Badiwe, just um by uh, is it Kufa by me now while we were there this very black looking guy wearing a white singlet and black trousers I can tell you all this because I never forgot him and he was holding a stick. Apparently, one leg was uh, uh, appeared to be deformed. He didn't. He wasn't walking properly, so he was using a stick with one of his legs wrapped around the stick. Now he came up to the vehicle and to beg us for money. Between Christine and I, to be the 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 only money that was with us inside that car was ten naira. And this was when ten naira was still something. You, you understand? As in, was not it, was, now. Was, was big money. Mm. It was. It was. It was. It was not 
nothing as it is now. It wasn't it wasn't fantastic, but it was not it was not uh, useless. Yeah, because the largest denomination was twenty. Mm -hmm. Now, the but the only money between both of us like, I was ten naira. So when he came to beg, I took the ten naira and gave it to him. He opened his hand, looked at the ten naira, and looked back at me, and then he said, "You try, Sha." <laughs> <laughs> He said, you try, Sha. Myself and Christy were so taken aback. We just looked at each other and said, eh. So since that day, we never forgot that guy. So whenever, whenever Christine and I want to want to tease each other over something, that's where we get that phrase from. You try, Sha. So meaning that, well, okay. You uh, just managing it. Manage, mm, I can manage it. Manage it for, for, yes. Uh, you mm. have, Yes, you have looked at me and you think it's 10 naira that is going to solve my problem. Okay, now, you try, Sha. I can manage it. And he did not know that that was the only money between both of us. So what but would he have said if you didn't give him anything? I wonder. but Because, I mean, we had concluded that this man you know, definitely we should need this thing more than we do. So now, having given you that background, I want to... I want to propose that the reason why human beings are like this is because nature by nature the human is a selfish person self-seeking mm. and self-serving so everything he thinks about is begins from himself he does not consider the 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 the, the, the part of any other person in events around him that is why you you the, the same person who has been feeding you since when it comes to a situation where he delays or something you forget that he has been doing things for you positively and you've been you've been happy but you do not remember these things so it is very easy for you to now turn around and begin to grumble and murmur and even abuse the person and this is the same person who has been good to you in the past. You know, which is why Job yeah. said to his wife, what's your own? We have been collecting good. Is it only good we collect when bad comes upon? You know? So I find that people are so self-seeking, so self-serving that they, they just need everything to satisfy their person, to satisfy their desires to satisfy whatever it is that concerns them first and foremost, regardless of what it means to somebody else. So God sends serpents to bite them because, you know, somebody will look at you and say, ah, but God, we can shall send this into bite. But the truth is, if God does not send serpents to bite, because we find that it is in adversity <laughs> we begin to seek God. <laughs> It is in adversity <laughs> we begin to see God. We start running helter skelter looking for the same God that we have been insulting <laughs> and abusing, you know. So that is why God allows us to face all kinds of stress, so that at the end of the no the day, you see that phrase that is always saying that you may know that I am God. Uh -huh. Should be when he sent serpents to go and bite them, they knew that he was God. That's why they came back to Moses. If they had, if they had mobbed Moses and killed him, who, 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 go, and, who go and cry to God for them? Yeah. Yeah. So it is a simple, it is a very, very, uh, it's a very delicate issue. It is. Son, let, it's me, uh, let, 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 let me add something to your to your to your equation. You know, you have two people, and somebody comes to ask them for money at different occasions, okay? The person says, no, I don't have any money to give you. Go away. The other person gives the person money. Huh? He came, he comes, so he, he knows that this one is not a giver. Then he goes to this person that gives him the money, asks him for money again, the person gives him. If he, if he comes to the person again and the person doesn't give him, he will fight that person. The person exactly. who used to give him. Huh? He, will, yes. he will not fight the person who says, wait, wait, I don't give you anything. No, no. For, he will uh, fight the person who 
because he feels that this one is a giver and he didn't want to give me. And it must be because of something or whatever. I don't know what is it that he has against me. Why is he not giving me? Uh, you know, you see, it will everything be a is about But he will me. not have a problem Every... with the person who did not give. That's because everything is about him. About me, 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 me. He didn't give me. He doesn't want to give me. He has money. Whatever. He does not understand whether that person does not even have money to eat at the time. He doesn't yes, know what the other man's the other man's situation is. You don't know. You don't know whether his child has been sitting at home for the past uh, three months with no money to go to school. You don't know. So, but because he gave you, when he gave it to you, he had it to give and he was willing to give. I went so where somebody else didn't have your time. So now, now he doesn't come, have again. Yeah. So and and you are and you are be, you are behaving very. It's, it, it is very true. You know, there was a, there was a guy who used to come around our house at uh, Ogulano. You know, he used to parade Ogulano Drive. When you see us, you you beg you beg for money. Several times he would come, he would beg. I would give him. Come, he beg. I would give him. Then one day I decided. That instead of giving him money, I was going to tell him something. So, and this man is not as if he is physically impaired. No. You just know that he's one of those, um, you know, he has he has placed himself in the in the category of the wretched of the earth. So this day he came, he came along, he saw me along the road and he asked, and he knows. He, he cannot say he doesn't recognize me because he knows he has collected money from me before. Not once, not twice. So this day, when he asked me, I was we, were, we passed each other on the road and he stopped me to ask. So I decided I wasn't going to give him. Rather, I was going to talk to him. So I, so I told him, come, let's stand by the side of the road out away from vehicles. Then I said to him, do you know I can tell you how you can make money for yourself? No, 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 no. I can Sorry, tell you. Tell you. Wait, let me let, let just listen. I I, I, tell, I can tell you how you can make money. You don't have to ask anybody again. He, he just he kept quiet. I said, you know what? All you need, hmm? go to you go to you know there are some um, what do you call them there are some construction sites around go around and beg somebody for one empty paint drum take it come here you see this are uh, there are so many offices so many banks so many places if you just go to some of these offices and ask you know, befriend the security men. Yeah? You can get introduced to some of the workers. If you have two people or three who agree to allow you wash their cars, maybe twice a week or something, you know, your own, you are, you are settled though, because if three people allow you to wash their cars twice a week each at 500 naira, you have made 3,000 naira that week. You are dwelling too much on the details. You are telling too much on the details, uh, Sam. Go I to told the him that. Of the matter. The details, the details are not that. Uh, yeah. So I told him. I just told him that if he started washing cars, he didn't need anything because all he needed to do was show. He said. He said, "If I if I want to give him money, I should give him. If if I don't want to give him, I should." I should I should leave. No, he doesn't want to work. Instead of telling him, that one, of is, telling that one him, is simple. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. one is different. He doesn't want to work. He prefers, you know, he's a free loader. He likes so just... Okay, uh, I think uh, Egmo has nailed part of what I was going to say. But the other side, I would also like to, because it's very important, it's because um, like you rightly said, we are selfish and then we all, all think about ourselves and all of that and all of that. Uh, also, what I, I I think it's also about our mindset. That's why we need to keep praying for renewal of mind and the focus. 
most time we 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 keep focusing on what what the problem we have what god has not what we we are still trusting god for rather than being grateful to god you know rather than thanking god for what he has done who we are even at the moment because even at the moment when it seems like everything is bad is doing something and if we don't see we refuse to see what he is doing is very very dangerous there's no way you will be grateful Elijah, no it's not even only what he's doing it's not only what he's doing god does the best first you understand okay the best that he has is going to do for us is salvation that when he has done it first so there is nothing Already, else yes. that he can do then he's going to pay our school fees pay our rent, etc. Okay. That is going to compare to what he has already done. Exactly. Exactly. So that that's that's really up on gratefulness when you don't see all of that, that he even himself could come and die and all of that. Once we don't have that value, when it's not valuable to us, we we and that's why the last thing that will come to our mind is to pray for key. Because we might know it's not valuable. You are not thinking if I want to call out now in the name of God, I was want God to call a move mountain, not to help me find key. You know, because we don't value that he's we there. Don't value, he, yeah, we that don't is... value salvation. We value we value uh, house rent more than yeah. that. Yeah. So and, and also the focus once and that's why I always I don't know where who who share that. Uh, I think it's one scripture where it says, "the the it is the wicked who does not have the thought of God." You know, from mm -hmm. that scripture, yeah. I know that when you say somebody is wicked, the thought of God is is it just simply means he doesn't think about that. of God. He's not so. Everything you do is all about yourself. Like for this, for these that. wicked people, God is doing things for them. Hmm? So how can they not think oh. about him? I did not think about so it. Let's, let's go for you know. Let's let's go forward because I, I, I they, they we have we have really not get gotten to the part that I was, for me is very significant about the uh, the scripture. So verse six. So the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they beat the people, and many of the people of Israel died. Therefore, the people came to Moses, the one that we have been accusing, and said, "We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord." And against you, pray to the Lord that He take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, "Make a fiery serpent, set it on a pole, and it shall be that everyone who is beaten, when he looks at it, shall live." That's the part that is, that really concerns me now. Huh? Means comfort and die. They are beaten by serpents, and God says, "Make a fiery serpent, put it on a pole. Anybody who looks at this." You know, I mean, what what is going on here? Huh? Comfort. What yes, is the sir, meaning of this? Good evening. What's the meaning of this? Moses should make a fiery serpent, put it on a pole, and then when you look at the pole of a serpent, of the, of, of, of the image of a serpent that has been biting them, then they will be healed. What is what? Why is God doing this? What is this about? Uh, okay, I don't know, but whenever I read that scripture, it just tells me that the solution of our problem is in doing it within or it's in that problem as it's where. If you just sit down, <laughs> go, that is where you find the solution to it. The solution of the problem is the problem. Okay, that, that's true. <laughs> so God just me, they wanted to teach them a lesson, but then I really do not understand why God had to go through that route. Why not? <laughs> you could have prepared so you are receive your evening. Well, you out. Well, we can't understand that. No, no, it's no, just no, 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 that, 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 that Let's try and understand it. Let me see what you have come. Let me see. Why is it? I mean, you know, this is like, you know, you are beaten by a snake. And God says, okay, uh, 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 the snake is what he's going to use to, 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 to you know, what, what's going on there? What's God doing? I don't know. Maybe it's... um. 
Maybe it's a foreshadow Hello. of... Hello, hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Nuwasu. I'm, uh, I'm calling from First Person Care Clinics. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Nisha. Okay, my wife, you have to switch off your, your, your mic. Yeah, Yemisi, go on. Um... Yeah, so so I, I don't know, maybe what usually happens with God is when you're afflicted, the affliction itself is medicine. So maybe as um <laughs> said, <clears throat> unfort said, um I'm just thinking about the, the, the length of time between when I mean for Moses to be making a snake from bronze, a lot of people will just be dying before he finishes making that thing. So <laughs> Okay, yeah, let, 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 let me ask let me ask you uh, uh, let me see if you answer this honest. Then I will tell you my own answer. So people grumbled against God <laughs> against Moses, and then snakes are biting them and they are dying. Okay. And then Moses says, God says I should put make a serpent, a brazen serpent, put on a pole. And Anybody who looks at these serpents will be healed. Would you believe Moses? I think in I think yeah, I probably would because you because would believe in circumstance. Yeah. Oh, and me, then me, I mean again me, me, I, me I won't believe him more. Well, what 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 has this got to do? What has this got to do with anything? Huh? Snakes are I biting think... us, you put a snake on the pole and you say people who look on it. To be honest, I feel like the grumbling, the grumbling was so unreasonable. It was just an indication of how tired they were. Everything that is written in the Bible is for us, for our instruction. So we get to that. Let, 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 me, let, me, tell you, let me tell you my understanding of the present summer. Okay. It is absolutely ludicrous that they will be beaten by a snake. Then they will make a brazen serpent put it on a pole hmm? you are not you will say this is rubbish what has this got to do with some people dying huh? the only way that you are going to obey it he's trying to tell you it doesn't have to make sense just believe it's faith doesn't have to make any sense whatsoever. God does not have to make any sense. It doesn't have to follow any logic. It doesn't have to follow any protocol. Just do what he tells you to do. That's all. That's all. It is wine that they want. But Jesus is telling them to pour water. You understand? I said, uh, 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 please, uh, 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 chief, mm. it, it is not water that they are looking for. It is wine. Uh, I am asking us to pour water. <laughs> you know, I would say, I would go to another person and say, you know, look, this, look, look at this man. He, 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 we are talking about wine. Mary said, just, just do what he tells you to do. Huh? Just whatever he tells you to do, just do it. Don't argue. Just do it. And when they did it, and they drew it, it was no longer water. It was wine. It was wine. Of course, they don't know that that is going to be a representation of Jesus when he is lifted up on the cross. Huh? As a savior. Or oh, it's time for the medical profession 2,000 years later. <laughs> they didn't know that. Who would have thought that a serpent? Huh? If, if, in fact, if he wanted to, if he wants to do it as a healing, maybe if he put a dove on the pole, or I don't know, what can he put? Something nice. Huh? What can he put that is, you know, that people would not. <laughs> how would I be? How is it a serpent that is the one that would know? Hmm? God, okay, he's going to do something that is counterfactual. He's going to do something that does just 
doesn't make any sense. And the only way that we can appropriate it is by faith. Is the only way. Is the only way we can appropriate it. Benedict Alibe, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Charles. Good evening. Let me see, please read this one for us. John 4, 13 to 15. Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. The water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. Uh, this, is a, this is a very strange ad advertisement. So, uh, Benedict, would you like a situation where you will never thirst again? Jesus visits you tonight and says, Benedict, I'm going to make sure that you never feel like drinking anything again. What would you say? Uh, I would say, I don't think I will. Uh, what is Jesus that my see yes. Well, you know what he's doing. Well, yeah, he's doing you, Benedict. Benedict. Uh, because, because he's Jesus, I will say yes. I will say yes. You will say yes. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's not a question of because it is him. Would you like a situation where you never touch the gate? No. No. I don't think I'm going to ask it. No, I will not hear like you it. now. What are you doing? I are you will not like it. I'm with you guys. I thought I, I will not I invite, like if, it. If I invite you to a party, everybody here, some are drinking Coke, some are drinking Fanta, but you... Even water you don't want. <laughs> I wanna let I wanna let you see. So which kind of which kind of advertisement is this? I don't understand this advertisement. So why that, does this that, why does this woman that, say, you know, give me that, that water? That uh, woman that woman that, 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 that woman expressed it only in terms of coming to fetch water. Things. Physical okay? things. You understand? She is concerned about coming to fetch water. She I think, says, I think. Give me think this, what this water that I may not ask, nor come here to draw. So I will not be coming, coming all the way to come and fetch water here again, to be carrying water up yes. and down. Huh? <laughs> but every, people will be drinking champagne, you will not drink. You might not understand what Jesus meant by. If he gave him water, he will not test any, any, any again. He was thinking about physical things. Okay, so so Benedict, what, what do you understand? What what do you understand by it? I think because this was your first your first answer told me that yes, you would like it. What do you understand by it? He's always talking about it. Would you, about you about like it? a situation where spiritually you would not have to drink anything again? Would you like a yes. heaven where there will be no drinking? Or would you prefer yes, a heaven no. where there will be special drinks? Cool drinks. <laughs> Divine drinks. That, that only have one head here. Divine but drinks. Listen, Which one would you have prefer? Have a heaven where that. people will thirst or a heaven where they will not thirst? In heaven, you don't test. If you want to test in heaven, it will be about God. In the world, we test because we need um this water, this thing to, to renew our energy. But in heaven, we only need God to arrange So the, the heaven that you would like is the one where nobody will be test. Nobody will test there. That's the uh, one you prefer. Yes. You prefer a heaven where there is no jollof rice. In heaven, they don't love Christ. They don't marry in heaven. <laughs> I'm asking you now. <laughs> would you prefer the heaven where there is no jollof rice? 
Yes, now, nah, doctor. That is the one why, I want. Why would you prefer it? Hmm? Why would you prefer it? Because that is no problem there. Because that is how where God is. You don't no, need no, no. That, that's, that's not that's not the answer. Because you know, I'm going to, the next answer I'm going to tell you is that why don't you do without it here? Okay. See, really, that is your preference. Hmm? Every three days, every every three days in a week, do without drinking. Since you prefer it. Since it's your preference for your heaven, Abby. You know your, your heavenly preference. No do without your love rights for three days. <laughs> Why are you not? Are you not the one that chose it? Because I don't I don't see your rights every day by dinner. Huh? You know what? We don't see your rights every day by dinner. You don't, I don't, I didn't get you. You didn't what? I don't eat jollof rice every day by day. I'm, I I'm food talking food well. now. You want jollof rice? Food. Okay. She <laughs> <laughs> always talking, you know. I'm talking, you know, since you prefer one where you don't thirst, you don't hunger too now. Huh? Honestly, honestly, I've, I've come. Food. I've since, come since, you, since you say you prefer it. I've, I've gone back. I used to do it I'm before. Not, now, for you? I don't know about you. Uh, let, let me ask Mama JJ. Mama JJ. Mama JJ. I'm here, sir. Yes, you are yes, sir. What, what's your favorite food? Fried yam. Fried yam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Is there going to be fried yam in heaven? No. So what what is it that <laughs> what what is it that you want to go and do there? Huh? I want to spend time with my creator. I mean, you can spend time with him now without the fire. Well, uh, I can spend time with him here, but it's limited. now without the fire. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> you can you you can better spend time with him here and now. Without the fried yam, than with fried yam. Uh, so I want to spend no. time with my creator. Does not <laughs> does not answer the question. Uh, is this another jam? Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean? Is this another? <laughs> is this another jam? Why is this another jam? Don't you don't you think we, we need to socialize ourselves to the heavenly virtues? Why do you think we fast? Mm. Okay. To deaden the flesh and uh, make our spirits more receptive to God. Yes, so if basically your primary interest, according to what you are expressing now, is that you want to be very close to God, then you need to give up food and uh, and drink. Then I, I can't stop this, uh, this. In order to get really close. Periodically. Yes. Uh, yes, we can do that. Yes. So but why, why are you not? Know, now because I'm breastfeeding. I can't do that now because I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> oh, it's true. I can't. But yes. Why, why are you doing it before? Are you so? Yeah. I mm. uh, first week in the month. Yes. First what? The first week in the month. I take a few days and fast, yes. Okay. You know, so you only wanted to be close to God just those first two days in the month. All right. But <laughs> 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 the rest of the 28 days in the month, huh? it's, uh, it, you know, I mean, seriously, it's, it's, it's not easy. Okay, I didn't even on you know reading this. I don't understand the woman. I said, what kind of woman is this one? Does he even know what what she is asking for? Hmm? Does she does she know what 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 it means? Huh? but you know, I've 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 gotten in, I've gotten in I've gotten in trouble with God because you know, way back when he told me that nothing that I like will be in heaven. So I have to make sure that you know what's the point of going to a place that. <laughs> well, I guess the issue would be of the alternative. What is the point of going to a place I don't like? 
sorry. Well, but what what about hell? No, no the alternative is not a, an option, right? The alternative is what? It's not an option. No, that's not the issue. I mean, the, the, the God God doesn't want us to come to Him because of compulsion. Now, hmm? He wants us to come to Him because we want Him. Okay. We would, <laughs> and that we would do, we would move heaven and earth to we'll be close to Him. Huh? He is a very jealous God. He doesn't want to uh, the compete between the competition between rice. And uh, chicken and him. <laughs> okay. Let me see. We are still on that woman. Oh, yeah. John chapter 4, 16. Jesus said to yeah. her, Go call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands and the one whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. Can you explain this scripture to us? Let me see. What does this mean? The woman has had five husbands. And the one she has now is not her husband. Is the one she has now is he a husband? What does this What does this mean? Mm, she's not the normal Lagos babe now. She gets the 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 guys are her boyfriends. Um, but Jesus says you have had five husbands. He didn't say you have had five boyfriends. Well, in those days there was no boyfriend. So <clears throat> if you were if you were living and sleeping with a man. He was considered your husband to me. But uh -huh. so why is it that the one she now has is not her husband? It's probably somebody else's husband, me. Okay. So the five the, the five ones that he had before, they were exclusive with her. But this one is somebody else's husband. Is that what you're saying? Well, it, that's what it sounds like. So She's had um she's a serial monogamist. She's had one, two, but three, four. The woman four, says, I have no husband. Uh, yeah, and he exactly. agrees with her. He said, You said well, you well said you have no husband. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I just think that this ties in with the fact that she doesn't want to come to the well. So she's a certain kind of woman. And she feels like she can lie to the guy. I don't have a husband. Um, so it's sort of and and of course he can see past that and he says of course you yeah you are, yeah you said that one correctly there's a bit of sarcasm there you you had five husbands and now you are with somebody else's husband and the one you have now is not your husband oh it's somebody else's husband oh well, that's what I think oh <clears throat> uh, okay okay um Benedict. I am looking at that scripture before, and I think that the woman, the woman is looking for women in husband, is looking for satisfaction in husband, and I think because of that, he has a change in husband also. And even with the one that, that he has that um, there's no 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 um, he not please that husband also. That's when Jesus asked him, he has to say no, I don't have husband, even though he's still with one. And you also know that the woman has been changing those man because there's something missing in that woman's life. I'm just guessing. Let, 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 me, let me pose the question this way. Let me pose the question this way. Jesus says, and the person you have now is not your husband. Yes, now. He's not, he's not her husband. Her husband why is, why is the person not her husband if he's had five husbands? Why is it not her husband, just like the other five that she's had? Uh, because the woman is looking for something that's supposed to look for in God, in the man. And those things that are not in the man. You're looking for women in your wife for a man. And God put everything in itself. God was supposed to be the man's husband, supposed to be her husband. 
and you're looking for peace. Okay, looking that, for that, rest, that, that, for that's where I was going. So Jesus says, the one you have now is not your husband. It's not your husband. Not because, you know, we are, we are we're taking a different departure from here. Because yes. the husband of the woman the guy the person talking to her. Wants. They cannot give me what woman needs. And it's only God that can give you man. And woman is looking for what is in God in a man's life. As the old one issue as a common issue. Mr. Adeleke. Yes, sir. There are two. I, I want us to look at that. Because uh, that scripture, every time I read it, it, is, it, it becomes more complicated. Because when they talk about husband and we look at the way the Bible describes husband and even the way Jesus uh, uh, specifies your here, maker is your husband. Two, two... Yes, your maker is your husband. Yes, that's what Jesus is trying to express, you know. But when we look at the the this uh, this structure that we call husband, that, okay, there's another scripture that if says that. If your they, maker is your they, husband, why does she why does he tell her you had five husbands? Because because uh, the woman the woman is just jumping from one of uh, and that's why the woman is jumping from one husband looking for fulfillment. So why did looking he call for them? The real... Why does she, why does Jesus call them husbands? Then they are not. Uh, because uh, because who, that woman, uh, if she is the one that is uh, uh, okay, when Jesus asks her, she says she doesn't have husband. He was trying to deny deny it. You know that's why Jesus now told him, uh, her that. You have you, you already have five. You no, know, she's not denying. She, 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 she's a woman telling the lie. She probably doesn't have a husband now. At the time when they're having that conversation, she's had five husbands. There she is does because about, he said nothing that Jesus has said that tells us that the one is telling the lie. Said, well, he said the one you are with said, now. Jesus said the one you are with now is not your husband. So uh, that confirms that confirms what the woman said. I don't have a husband. Uh -uh. No. No, no, no. Let's go back there. You, Jesus agreed with her. Said, you have said the truth. You don't have a husband. She said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband. She doesn't have a husband. The woman didn't tell a lie. <laughs> Doctor. So you have had five husbands, and the one whom you have now is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. He didn't tell a lie. Because because light has Jesus brought light into this into the woman's life. Okay, let me let me use something. You you are looking for something. You are looking for a, a gold in in a man's life, and because of that, you will change. You are not be finding the gold. And some, someone somebody come up to you and said, "Yeah, you found these five people, and then you don't, you are not pleased with it, and you will, you are you already denying those five people that you don't have them." And suddenly the person says, yes, okay, what you said is true. Because the person that is telling you knows what you are looking for. Jesus knows what the woman is looking for. And you know the woman cannot get it what the woman yeah, is well, looking that's, for. That's a different issue. The question is that the woman doesn't have a husband. I thought it was the truth that was answering. Why did you override him again? It, it, it is true that the woman, the woman, uh, the, the, Jesus brought it, it actually brought the light into the, into the, the, the whole thing. You know, they're trying to... Uh, let the woman understand that the real husband is God. God is the only husband that you can have. Not all this one that you are jumping. Then again, if we look at the woman, the woman herself, we, I was looking at it from the point of the natural husband that people are having. And the natural husband they are having, though, whether maybe those days, you, you, when, you, when you meet with a man, eh, the moment you meet with that man, you already automatically, the man automatically be your husband. You jump to the second one. It's another, another person's husband. The third one, it's, another, it's not your husband anymore. That is, there are all those ones. Are just, we are just sleeping with no, other she, husband. But she, Jesus did not say those five people are not her husband. She said she has had five husbands. Yes, yes. She didn't yes, say that's those five people are not her husband. No, that's correct. I, I agree with that. I'm just, I was also thinking about the way men of this world are, are doing, the way the women of this world are doing. When they will 
from one when, from one man to another, from one man to another, from one man to another. But they no, forgot they, that. Even, uh, 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 um, um, <laughs> even even in this world today, this particular situation is unusual. It is men that have five husbands. Elizabeth Taylor, uh, women, women doesn't have. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor, uh, it's unusual. Elizabeth Taylor is unusual. It's not yeah. unusual again, no, Uncle Femi. Leave that. It's leave unusual. that language. I've, I've seen, <laughs> yeah, seen somebody that married again, five husbands. Maybe because how I mean, many people but, have you seen that are married five husbands? No, if, you know what if it they is. exist, it's not, it's not, it's unusual. No, Uncle Femi, Uncle Femi, biblical mm -hmm. language is different. So it's not like you go to church. It's not like you do the one million naira, um, ten million naira wedding, uh, with coordinated dancing. That's not how they were doing it that time. So how are they doing it? In the sense that you went, you will not even go near a man. So once you go near that man like this, that man is, is considered your husband. How many boyfriends mm. does the average exactly. legal girl have? 35. So, yeah. so, so the one that she has now, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So the one that she has now, she has not gone the other one. Uh, she has. That's the, the you see this. But, so but what, this, what, what I think, mm -mm, mm. Says, what, what I'm hearing people <laughs> say is that husband, you probably have, those, five before, those five before, those five before, they were single guys. You understand? Mm. So now she, she, she dated five guys. That's like if Jesus met her today in city of David, you say, ah, yes, you don't have a husband now. You dated five guys. So you are with this guy. This guy is a married guy. That's what that scenario sounds like to me. So, no, I, 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 I prefer, I prefer a, a doctor and better exist in that. The last sentence, the one you have now is not your husband. It's referring to it is God that is your husband. Because the reason you have been jumping from husband to husband to husband to husband, you can never be satisfied. The, the yeah, but none of them were a husband. You. Huh? Mm. Then in that, he then he would have said, none of those men were your husband. You did not have five husbands. You were just playing around. But he called them. Yeah, but the woman husband. considered the, she considered them to be her husband. You have had five husbands, according to the woman. But it is the definition that you are then getting. Is Jesus saying the one you have now is not your husband? That's where Jesus makes the definition. Let's look at another scripture uh, in the time we have left. Oh, yeah, yeah, missing. John 7 15, 45, sorry. Then the officers came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, why have you not brought him? The officers answered, no man ever spoke like this man. Then the Pharisees answered them, are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, he who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said to them, does our Lord judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? They answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and look, for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. Okay, please let's look at this scripture because you know God is God is a very, very strange person. Very strange person. It is true, no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. Is it not true? Huh? So why is Jesus from Galilee? Who is handling this particular question? Samukwa. I just had this, an instinctive feeling that you were going to call me. <laughs> uh, what is the question? I love that man from Galilee, but the scripture did not say a prophet is going to come from Galilee. So why is Jesus from Galilee? Is a trick. <laughs> well, uh, like you said, scripture did not say the, the, the uh, prophet from Galilee. After all, Galilee is not a school of prophets. 
And we don't, we, I mean, it, it doesn't have so to be. So why is Jesus from Galilee? Because God does the things that people don't expect. He's, he's not going to, he's not going no, to do it's, what it's he more, It's more funny than that. Let, let, me, let me put it this way. Why is it Jesus of Nazareth? <laughs> okay? Which is confusing. When he is really Jesus of Bethlehem. Uh, if they had, if they had said he was from Bethlehem, they would not have a problem with it because the prophet says there is a prophet that is going to come from Bethlehem. But, uh, he is not staying in Bethlehem. Okay? <laughs> you know, so they are not going to be able to link him to his prophetic lineage. Why? Why does God why does God do this kind of thing? That's what I want to know. Yeah, sir. If I tell you I know I'm I'll be I'll be I'll be confusing myself. The, we confuse, we confuse, we confuse, we confuse, you, know, you know, you, you know, I have, I have actually, have, you know, I have actually wondered what is the significance of Bethlehem, Nazareth, and Galilee in the scheme of things, and uh, I, and I have not been able to. I, I don't have any answer. I don't know the, the, the significance of these three places. Yes, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yeah. But then um um he's referred to as Jesus of Nazareth, you know, and he's and then there's also talk about him as you know when his headquarters uh, was in Galilee of the Gentiles. Okay. Well Galilee of the Gentiles, I suppose uh, uh, but then that's another that's another um that, that's another mystery because uh it is said that he, he was sent to the uh, lost the lost house of Israel. Are the Gentiles the lost house of Israel? So you know, it's like a case of uh, um, God saying that He will make a people of them that are not His people. So I suppose His impact too needed to be felt outside. The, the the area of those that were supposedly his kinsmen, since a prophet is of is without honor in his own home. You know there are so many. You know what I think. Okay, but, uh, uh, let me call on Yabisi to start with. Yabisi, yes, what do you want to say? I just think that God stacks the sticks. <laughs> he what? He. he, 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 he it's like you say that, okay, so they gave birth to somebody in Nikoi, so you accept him. Then the guy moves to Ajay Gule. Then you say, eh, you know, you don't, nobody, nobody, no no el elites can come from Ajay Gule. So obviously God understands the mentality of these people. He's playing with them. Uh, 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 I mean, they're prostitutes in Jesus' bloodline, for goodness sake. So <clears throat> you, 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 yeah, but you know, I mean, who, who would, why would, I mean, seriously now, okay? Why would a prostitute be in Jesus' bloodline? I mean, really, if, you wanted to, if, if you want to, no, no seriously, if, you, if, if I'm going to write this story, there's no way that I would have put a prostitute in Jesus' bloodline when he is holy, when he is divine. Put prostitute there? No way. There is no, I mean, you know, look, look, if, if, there is no way that I could have written the gospel. It's not possible. You know, I always tell people, you know, I say, I can write the Quran, I've read it. Or parts of it, I can write. There are so many of these things. Huh? Look, God wants to make sure that man cannot know Him unless He reveals Himself to you, because He is going to hide in so many. There are all kinds of, you know. Look at what Sam said. In the place where they said they are not my people, that is where they are going to be my people. You know, somebody has decided that from the beginning. The place where they said they are His people, He is not going to be their people. You understand? He has decided from the beginning that you are not going to know me unless I want you to know me. If I don't reveal myself to you, you cannot know me. 
Mm -hmm. I think that is a very, very smart and expected move because if we could know him, he would be demystified. So it is. I think it is in order. It is appropriate. <laughs> Yeah, but, but you know, I was. I think that there's. I think there's something else there, because you see, <clears throat> the people that are already low that consider themselves at the bottom of everything, they have no problem with Jesus coming from where they come from. They're happy. It is so. I think that there is also a thing where people have to lower their. They have to remove their pride. It is. I all the discussions we've been having. I think you just have to accept that God is God and not argue about, oh, why didn't he do it like this? So this is the way that I would have done it. No. Let me give you, let me give you a, a, a system. Okay. There is an academy of sciences. All right. And in order to be in that academy, okay, there are people that have all kinds of credentials, all kinds of degrees, Okay, they're in that academy. And it's like the SAF. Now, and they determine who is going to be a member of that academy. You understand? Okay, there are people of timber and caliber in society. Now, then, then one ragamuffin now shows up. Okay? He doesn't recognize them. He doesn't have their credentials. He doesn't have their degrees. Huh? But when people are talking science, he knows the science more than them. And he's even abusing them and flogging that, them. That, with that, 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 that becomes one big palaver. Look at, look at what these people say here. Huh? Okay, not this one. Look at what, what they are saying here. They say that... Huh? Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed in him? Because we never gave him the certificate. We never certified him. You understand? This crowd doesn't know who is who. We are the ones that determine who is timber and caliber. How did this ragamuffin now become somebody? It cannot be unless, unless we certify him. Huh? Let me come to him that who gave you this authority? By what authority are you doing the things that you are doing? And who gave you the authority? Because we are the authority here. We are the ones that are that are giving people the authority to do anything anywhere. And you have not gone through our schools. You have not, we have not certified. And then they ask him, they say, Who is your father? <laughs> we, we have not given you the certificates. You can't operate here. But we are. Huh? Yes, Benedict. I, I, I think God Himself wants to give us a vision that He will reject from the beginning. He He gave this a vision that He will reject. If He make If He make Jesus to come from the palace, He will accept Jesus. He will accept Him, but He intentionally gave us a vision that He will reject. The same way Snake was killing people and was telling Moses to, to arrange his snake. That if they look at the snake, that they will see. He will always give you that thing that you will reject. And that thing that you will reject, that will be where your salvation is. And then I will go into them. He just give them, you know, they reject anywhere. Jesus you from um, Gary John. And he gave them somebody who will save all of them so that they can reject his like and people to but, save but, but all of them. Why would they accept him? Why would they accept him? Because if they accept did, did him, they? they become they become irrelevant. Did they yes. accept Moses? That's the huh? that's the funny thing because even Moses they didn't accept him. But when they were going to abuse Jesus, they said hey, we recognize Moses, but we don't recognize Moses. <laughs> 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 if they if they accept if they accept Jesus. They are they are the out of a job. <laughs> Apart from that, if you want to accept uh, Jesus, the ministry is over. They, they, they are finished. They have to look for a job. They can, people can't give them money anymore. People can't, you know, they say, look, 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 by the time you raise Lazarus from the dead, 
They call the meeting and say, look, oh, eh? this is going too far. You people, eh, Claro, if you continue like this, so oh, eh? <laughs> This man is going to mess everything up. <laughs> we have to get rid of him. Huh? Is, is, is this Sam that is laughing? What are you laughing at? <laughs> yes, sir. It, it's if, they, if they allow him to continue, church, don't close me. That <laughs> you have to, you have to be working for a living. If this one that everybody is giving you money and telling you, sir, pastors and so etc., they will call you anything again. <laughs> you will not, you know. The man, the, the, the people from that were that saw somebody dying on the road to Jericho to, to, to Jerusalem to Jericho. If they stop to help the man, they will be defied. They cannot minister for 30 days. Nobody will give them any any tight. Nobody, I mean, you know, there were all kinds of cost balance and equation that they would have created that, you know, if they help this man, it has serious economic implications. <laughs> so what we will do is that. We will pray for him when we get where we are going. <laughs> uh, they had to, they had to, they had to get rid of Jesus. Serious, this is serious business. They had to get rid of him because he has come to spoil everything. Uh, he has come to scatter everything. Sam, please pray for us. Let us. You know, we will, we will. We we'll meet again on Sunday. But if Jesus was here today, what would happen? Ah, the same thing, you know, all these pastors that are, you know, ah, they would have, we'll they, they, the three of them would meet. They would meet and we'll say, kill Lugo, kill let's kill have to do something about this man. It's not even that his long hair, Seth. That would already be a problem. They will, they will have a problem with everything about him. Ah, this one, where I look at the way he's dressed, Look at the people he's talking to. Look at the ah uh no -uh. no 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 no. He cannot be. No way. No no way. No Let way. Us pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your goodness and mercy. Thank you for the unique opportunity to learn at your feet one more time. Jehovah, we are grateful. We are thankful, and we say, Lord, may we never depart from your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Almighty, we thank you. We ask that everything that you teach us, you cause us to retain in our minds in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, Amen. cause us to live by your word that we will not be just hearers of your word, but also doers of your word so that our lives will come in alignment with your will, that it may be well with us. Let, Amen. oh Lord God Almighty, our lives show forth your glory in every way at every time, that all that we shall think, say, and do shall be instigated by your Holy Spirit. We will not yes. speak of ourselves. We will not speak except that which the Spirit of the living God has given us. Lord, teach us self-control in the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us, O oh Lord, to be self-controlled and to always think not of ourselves first, because selfishness and self-seeking in nature is the biggest downfall of human beings. We ask, oh Lord, that you teach us to be like you, to think of yeah. others first before ourselves, that we might be able to learn and put on the Christ-like nature. You have already told us that we have the mind of Christ. Therefore, Lord, cause us to exercise that mind of Christ in the name of Jesus, that mm -hmm. all our actions shall align with your own will. To the glory of your holy name, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Say to the righteous, you are the apple of God's eye, which is you the apple of God's eyes. You are yeah, it is the apple well of God's eyes. Yeah. Yeah, the apple of God's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm.